All right, guys. Um, hope this is not too blurry for you. I think. All right, guys. So um, I had my phone in my pocket. So as you guys can see, um, I have this out. Um, wasn't the most difficult job that I've encountered. But uh, as you guys can see, the gasket's been deteriorated. And I think this is what the gasket fell into, I think. There's a lot of rust here. But uh, took the hoses off. Um, so basically, you guys see how I lined up the bolts on the new uh, water pump? Um, you guys want to do that because um, the different the different links, the different links. So you don't want to mess that up. Obviously, it's uh would be a pain in the butt to uh, try to figure that out. But um, as you guys can see, this water pump uh, it didn't. It didn't fail on me, but I just, I'm just i just saying that uh, um, I got this out just because I already had a lot, a lot of this stuff out. Um, you're going to need a lot of different tools, extended sockets, um, a lot of stuff, guys. I mean, do you guys want to do this on your own? Probably should do it at like, um, uh, probably at your house or, you know, at a spot where you know if you get into a jam, you won't... Uh, run into any issues with getting tools and stuff like that because as you guys can see that's a lot of stuff that I got out right now uh, granted I was working on a couple other things too the, the pulleys the tensioner the bracket um, I lost the uh, the boat that goes that connects to the um, I it dropped down hopefully I can find it it's a uh, I hate it when that happens like halfway like midway through my work working on a car because uh, at some point working on a car I hate it when, I, when that, that happens because now my concentration's kind of off because I'm my head's on what, how to find that but uh, back to what I was saying um, the two bolts that held this bracket or uh, three or whatever two or three um, they were uh, pretty easy to get out I was very surprised by that but um, anyway Anyway, so once you get that out, what you want to do is you want to transfer. Did you guys see how um, rusted this is? I, I think this is the original. This is a Ford water pump, the original. And uh, I was really careful about using PB Blast, and uh, I also used a torch in one of them that I thought was kind of was going to give me an issue. But so basically, what you want to do is. Once you get that out, you want to transfer or the bolts to the old one so that when you put this in with the gasket, and uh, I'm going to put some gasket maker on the on it just just to make sure also with the gasket itself, just to make sure there's a tight seal on it. But uh, got this out. Going to put this back in. Uh, definitely going to uh, PB blast these bolts. Um, normally water pump bolts are not that tight but they were tight because of the amount of rust that's on there and as you guys can see this one bent with me trying to get it out so definitely I'm going to probably use a metal brush and brush up all these uh, the rust on here and uh, and uh, once I get that off uh, we're just going to pop this back on by the way, with the hoses, if you have issues putting the bolt, the hoses on, or even taking them off, just use some PB Blaster on on, on the bolts. You can, you guys can see this kind of corrosion from like uh, stuff. But uh, I mean, you know, put some PB Blaster, make make it slippery, and then slip it back on. But um, aside from that. Um, what you guys want to be careful of is the radiator. These little vent, these little vents are really. Um, how can I say these little vents? Um, I've marked it up quite a bit, so you guys can see this whole entire process. But uh, the shroud was a major pain in the butt before this situation. But um, outside of that, I might put another video up on the water pump when I do it. Um, it's uh, getting a little bit late, so I might not film it. I'm not sure, but. Uh, 
I'm gonna brush this out and then we are going to um, finish this up.